and the sector in the wake of President Uhuru Kenyatta's mor moratorium this week. Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi says the move will allow stakeholders to regulate the scrap metal sector blamed for Kenya Power Line's vandalism. If you saw what happened at Kayole, you actually arrived there and immediately kneeled down and thank God. We had hundreds of our people right under those pylons. Imagine if that caught fire. We would have lost hundreds of our people. We are going to start a process now, working jointly with the, uh, you know, our energy sector actors, of quietly but in a very orderly manner, removing our people from the the way leaves. It's a moratorium in a place that was announced by His Excellency the President. Mm -hmm. Now we are beginning meetings with the energy sector because the moratorium is not eternal. The President uh, imposed a moratorium over a period of time so that we can organize the sector and, and, and re-register the dealers and understand and explain to them how they should do their business. We are not lost to the fact that all these club metal dealers derive a livelihood from there, they have employed a lot of our people, it's an aspect of our economy. But we can also not do it in a manner that then they